the back post and they look for a bet and they get it. Lucy Bronze. Brilliant cut play from England. Brilliant from England. And it's turned and scores it. 2023 has been another very busy and incredible year. So we started with the On The Clock Cup. We had three games in a week. Uh, we could see a lot of players. Uh, we could try things to get prepared for the World Cup. And that's exactly what we did. So we got lots of information from the team and where we stood at that point. And it was really nice that we won uh, three games uh, because you approach every game to win it. But so lots of things came together in that week. really enjoyed the Finalissima. Uh, it was the first time ever and it was in a full Wembley so we were really excited about that. As we know Wembley has a very special place uh, for us. In the first half we played really well, we scored an incredible goal and then the second half we were struggling a little bit and in the final seconds they scored and then we went into the penalty shootout where we did really well and I think at the end that was a good practice for the World Cup too because we needed that against Nigeria in the World Cup. So lots of things also to take away from that Brazil Finalissima game, and of course another prize, a uh, very prestigious prize, so we, um, we really enjoyed winning that, but we took a lot of that also uh, in our preparation for the World Cup. Australia was a very good opponent, and of course they were getting ready for the tournament, they were in a good place, and Australia punished us in a couple of moments in that game, and I think that was really necessary to, to grow for the team, and um, that's what we did. The World Cup was uh, one of the most intense periods I've ever experienced. Um, so it was a, a huge tournament. Uh, every record was broken on the pitch and off the pitch, and you could feel that, you could see that. We have experienced that on the pitch too with our team, with our team, of course. It was so intense. That was incredible, and um, it was a long way from home. But we created a home away from home, so with lots of family coming over, lots of fans coming over. And I think the team got, got so much challenges, got, we had to deal with so many challenges. I think what we got out of the team making the final, of course you want to win it, and we were really disappointed we didn't win the final, but when I look back and I see the bigger picture, I think we did find a way to win games, and we did show resilience, and most of all, we really uh, collaborated as a team, and we always went out there as a team and tried to perform at our best level, and that's what I'm really proud of. The Nations League was around the corner straight away, so that was hard for the team. You know, coming out of the World Cup hardly having any rest and then performing straight away in September. The team really tried hard, but we didn't get our best, best level. Of course, we had two defeats, and uh, in my opinion, that were unnecessary, but we were trying to get, uh, to get to our next level. I think that's absolutely what we did in, in December. First, uh, of course, uh, the 1st of December in Wembley, in the pack Wembley against the Netherlands where we won 3-2 and um, I thought we did really well and again we showed lots of resilience and, and um, eagerness to win that game and then we played a very good game against Scotland and we, we beat them 6-0 and it was just not enough and that shows how close it is and that's hard to take but I can only be proud of the team how we stepped up in December and how we showed who we are, what we want to do and, and what level we can we can have. It's such a change the last two years, like now we're in sold out stadiums and wherever we play, you know, people show up and they're really excited to come and watch us and we are really aware of that. We we never ever take that for granted and the real huge support for us, the way they got behind us and that's every game, the way that the fans got behind us and when we scored the three two, the noise at Wembley, I I would just never ever forget that. Um, and, and that's just incredible. And what we want to do, of course, keep performing, keep playing with the energy, showing who we are. Every game we play, we want to be very energetic and, and, and play good football. So the fans want to come and watch us and keep doing that. <laughs> good place and the young players are coming through uh, and I think that's necessary too because uh, we're being chased now and um, because you know won the Euros, made the final in the World Cup, uh, won the Finalissima 
So of course everyone's looking at us too and, and around us the world is changing too so other countries are developing quickly too. So we really need to be front footed, need to take the next step, improve every day. We as a start want to do things better too and, and yeah, with, with the whole FA and in England with the clubs, uh, yeah, we want to go to the next level. Then 5th March, the, the draw of the Euros qualification will be, then we know who we're going to play. And then, of course, April, June and July, we play European qualification. And hopefully we do well, which then means that we'll have friendlies. And if not, then we play playoffs. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get good friendlies then and get really ready for the Euros because uh, we have to defend uh, the cup.